Hi, we'll be studying the radix sort algorithm techniques for data structure. Now, what is a radix sort? For the radix sort, we divide the array into 10 buckets from 0 to 9. As we specify, it has 10 buckets. Do not confuse it to be a bubble bucket sort again. This is a radix sort algorithm where the numbers are sorted on the least significant bit of any number for the first pass, whereas the bucket sort algorithm sometimes consider the most significant bit and the situation and the procedure is different as we merge the data when we are working on the bucket sort. So in this particular video we are just considering the radix sort algorithm. The time complexity for the radix sort is n log n. Now let's consider how does the radix sort actually work for a two digit number or a two bit number. Let's take the input series as 64, 04, 25, 01, 36, 16, 9, 49 and 81. You will see these are two bit numbers wherever there is a single bit or a single digit you can add a zero to the left hand side. Now these are the buckets. So buckets are from 0 to 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the content will be put over here. Now let's start with 64. As the radix sort, radix sort starts with the least significant bit. So every digit we will consider this element and put it in the respective bucket. The number is 64. The least significant bit is 4. So it will go into the bucket which is marked 4. So 64 comes over here. Next is 4. Least significant bit is 4. So it will come in the bucket 0, 4. In the bucket 4. Just while writing the numbers in the bucket, make sure that as 64 has come before, so 64 will be fo first followed by 0, 4. Do not jumble up the numbers as it will give you the wrong answer in the end. So 0, 4. Next number is 25 and the least significant bit is 5 so it goes into the bucket 5. 0, 1. The least significant bit is 1 so it goes into the bucket 1. 36. The LSB is 6 so it goes into the bucket 6. 16 goes into the bucket 6. 9. It is 0, 9 so it goes into the bucket 9. 49. The least significant digit is 9. So it goes into the bucket 49. 81, the least significant digit is 1. So goes into the bucket 1. While writing the output for the pass 1, please write down in the similar order as they are written in the bucket. Do not jumble up the orders. So 0, 1 is the first one. Followed by 81. Next is 64. Next is 0, 4. 0, 4. 25. 36. 16, 9 and 49. So this is the list after the pass 1 of radix sort. Now that pass 1 of radix sort now becomes the input for the next pass. Now let's start putting the number into the buckets with respect to the output which has come from the pass 1. 1 as it is a single digit so we have to put 0, 1 so it goes into the bucket 0 so 0, 1 over here. 81 now we have to consider the next bit. So it is 8. So it will go into the bucket 8. 64. We have to consider 6. So it goes into the bucket of 6. 4. Again a single digit. So it will be taken as 0, 4. So it comes in the bucket with the number 0. 25. MSB is 25, 2. So it goes into the bucket 2. 36. Goes into the bucket 3. 16. 1. So goes into the bucket 1 over here. 9 again it is 0, 9 so goes into the bucket of 0. 49 goes into the bucket of 4. Again reminding do not jumble up the series order. The way you've written kindly write down the output in the similar way. So it will be 0, 1 followed by 0, 4 followed by 0, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64 and 81. You will see the number of bits or the digits the numbers have, that many passes we required for us to sort the data in radix sort. This was a sorting of buckets for a two digit number. Let's see how do we sort the digits and the bits for a 
three digit number. This is the input list which has been given 164, 904, 265, 101, 326, 166, 89, 949 and 581. This is a bucket that we've drawn. So let's start considering with the least significant bit which is 4. 164, so it will go into the bucket 4, it is here. 904, least significant bit is 4, so 904. 265, the 5 is a least significant bit, so it will go into the bucket of 5, so we get 265. 101, it is 1, so it goes into the bucket of 1. 326, 6, goes into the bucket of 6. 166, 6, so goes into the bucket of 6. 89, 9 is the least significant, so goes into the bucket of 9. 949, least significant is 9, so goes into the bucket of 9 as 949. 581, 1, so goes into the bucket of 1. And we write down the numbers as it is, as they are written in the bucket. So, the output for the past 1 is 101, 581, 164, 904. 265, 326, 166, 089 and 949. So this is the output list for the pass 1 of a radix sort. Now let's see what happens in pass 2. So the pass 1 output becomes an input to pass 2. So this is the output of my pass 2 or this is the buckets which will be created. As we had considered the least significant, now we will consider the middle bit. So 101 goes into the bucket of 0, so 101 is here. 581, now we will be considering the middle bit, so 8, so 581 comes into the bucket of 8. 164, 6 is the digit, so it comes into the bucket of 6 over here. 904, the middle bit is 0, so comes into the bucket of 0. 265, bit is 6, so comes here in the bucket of 6. 326, middle bit is 2, so comes into the bucket of 2. 166, the bit is 6, so comes into the bucket of 6. 089, 8 is the middle bit, so comes into the bucket of 8. And 949, the middle bit is 4, so comes into the bucket of 4. Let's write down the output as it is for the past 2 of radix sort. So it is 104, 904. Again a reminder, do not change the order. 326, 949, 164, 265, 166, 581 and 089. This is how is the output of pass 2 of an pass 2 of a radix sort. Let's see this pass 2 when it goes as an input to the pass 3. So we'll start off with now the MSB. 101, so it goes into the bucket of 1. 904, so 9 is the bit, so goes into the bucket of 9. 326, 3 goes into the bucket of 3 over here. 949 goes into the bucket of 9. 164 goes into the bucket of 1. 265 goes into the bucket of 2. 166 goes into the bucket of 1. 581 goes into the bucket of 5. And 089 goes into the bucket of 0. And the past 3 output is 089, 101, 164, 166, 265, 326, 581, 904 and 949. You will see the elements are sorted and depends on number of bits it had, 3 bits, so it required 3 passes to sort the element in the radix sort. If there are 4 bits, then we can use the similar technique to sort the elements using the radix sort. Thank you.